What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all taking care of y'all self today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe and like and share and smack that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? And keep God first, baby, over everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let this video take off. I'm going to play catch up at the end. I'm going to break the detail down, details by details. So on that note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off, baby. Let's go. 18-year-old Tyner woman whose body was found yesterday in a wooded area behind the Holly Tree Apartments near West Grande Boulevard. Tonight, 19-year-old Jamaria Britton is in the Smith County Jail accused of Deja Hood. Tyner police say he was the last person Deja was seen with before being found dead. Tonight, KLTV 7's J.D. Conti has more on what Britton is telling authorities about the moments leading up to Hood's death. On Monday night, just after midnight, Lakita Jordan, the mother of 18-year-old Deja Hood, reported her missing. According to an arrest affidavit, Jordan said her daughter may be with Jamaria Britton. In police custody, the affidavit states he later admitted to Hood. Britton was soon contacted by police, where he said that on Monday, he picked up Hood and a one-year-old child that she was caring for and brought them to the Holly Tree Apartments, where he is a resident. An altercation began after Britton said he returned to the apartment to find the child under the stairwell. Britton said his quote, fit of rage started after he said Hood tugged on his ear, which he says reminded him of what his ex-girlfriend would do. He began to with an object and struck her. A neighbor soon knocked on the apartment door to ask if everything was okay. After responding, Britton drove the child back to Hood's mother's apartment. When he returned, he discovered Hood was still alive and her. According to the affidavit, Hood was spooked by a neighbor while disposing of the body and therefore tossed her into a ravine. Police found latex gloves and footprints near a fence that blocks the ravine, as well as gloves and mud near Britain's car. J.D. Conti, KLTV 7 News. And tonight, Jamaria Britton is being held in the Smith County Jail with bonds set at $1 million. Heartbreaking anguish tonight as friends open up about the Tyler team who was earlier this week. Good evening and thanks for joining us for CBS 19 News at 6. I'm Brennan Gurley. 18-year-old Deja Hood was found on the Holly Tree apartment complex on Tuesday. Police say she was killed by a man who lived there. As her Raleigh Jayswell reports, those who knew her best say they will miss Deja's smile and her positive energy. My heart just dropped because it was just so unexpected. Man. And then the way she went was like a call sword, like she didn't deserve that. Deja Hood was missing for a day until Tyler police found her lifeless body. Whatever happened to her, it was just like, yeah, it wasn't like believable. Deja was by someone she considered a friend. That friend, Jamaria Britton, who is now in the Smith County Jail for murder. From what I know, she was there to comfort him because like, he didn't have nobody to talk to about things. Deja's close friends describe her as someone who was full of life and energy. She was always like smelling, happy. She had like great energy. She was good hearted too. She was very talented. When you first meet her, it's like you know her already. Deja recently graduated from Tyler High School. She had plans of moving to a big city and going to college. She was working hard to leave to get a car. I hate the day that I ripped away from her before it was even started. I know for a fact whatever he did to her, she had a, she had a strong fight. As they scroll through their memories with Deja, one post stands out to them. The Sunday before her disappearance, Deja posted this picture on Instagram with the caption, unforgettable. I feel like maybe her spirit kind of knew that she was going to go before her actual body. You can put somebody in jail all day long, but you can't. You can't bring nobody back. She adds that Deja will be remembered for who she was, not what happened to her. And they will continue to keep her memory alive. In Tyler, I'm Narali Jayswal with CBS 19. Tonight, a friend of the young woman whose body was found Tuesday behind a Tyler apartment complex is opening up about her friend and who she was in person. KTK's Ashlyn Anderson sat down with her to hear about the impact Deja Hood left in their hearts. Ashlyn. Casey, Sarah Evans says they weren't just best friends, but they were more like sisters. She says Deja Hood was the most positive, genuine soul that would be missed by everyone. A best friend's worst nightmare. But it really just hurt my heart. It did. It hurt my heart that she had to sit there and suffer. Sarah Evans still feels like she's in a dream after hearing reports of her best friend Deja Hood on Tuesday. I've been making it I've been like, 
I just been asleep. Cause every time I'm up, I think about it. I think about it. I'm thinking about it every second of the day. She doesn't want Deja to just be seen as a victim of violence, but wants the world to know the girl she's known since high school. She's like, she's like a mom. She has a mom mentality, like a hundred percent. Like she, she cared for everybody. She loved everybody. Before her 18 year old Deja Hood went to Sarah for everything, lately for career advice. She like doing hair, like installing wigs and stuff, coloring wigs. And she just, she likes trying different stuff. The relationship was effortless with good mo- Sarah Evans still feels like she's in a dream after hearing reports of her best friend Deja Hood on Tuesday. I've been making it, I've been just like, I've just been asleep. All right, y'all, I'm gonna I'm gonna that about video, it. baby. And I'm gonna leave that video up there. You did, you know what I'm saying? So, let me break it down to y'all. You know what I'm saying? What he said, what happened you feel me he's saying that you know what i'm saying y'all heard the friend say you know she was like mother love she was going over there you feel what i'm saying you know you know to give him help because he had lost his girlfriend or whatever you know what i'm saying but y'all seen that when they were showing the memories of the phone y'all seen that big dude was behind them in that look in that phone they was have memories about, and the big dude was sitting behind, behind him, you know what I'm saying? But to me, he was already, like, he was already fascinated over her. You feel what I'm saying? He was already fascinated, but she ain't know it. But by her was going over there for to help him, to nurse him, right? You feel what I'm saying? He claimed that she touched him on the ear. Then he told her it remind him of his girlfriend. Then he say he snapped. You feel me? So, so he grabbed a hammer. You know what I'm saying? And y'all know what he did with the hammer. He plunged her with the hammer, right? You feel me? And he left her in the house, but took the young baby to somebody and put the baby, you know what I'm saying, to the where the baby came from, right? So when he came back, right? He heard her uh, uh, calling his name. You feel me? I don't know if she was scared. I don't know if she was trying to talk him out of it or whatever. But when he heard, came back and, and he heard her call his name and he said himself she was still alive, then he took a gun and he shot her. Then he wrapped her up. You feel me? And put her over there on the side over there by the lake over there. You know what I'm saying? But somebody spooked him. So he ain't have enough time to really, you know what I'm saying, do what he need to do with the body. You feel what I'm saying? But at the same time, right? You feel me? I'm going to tell you what I think what it is, right? He was already a fascinator over her. He was in love with her, right? And when she went over there, right? Whatever he tried to do, she had put on that, you know what I'm saying, put on that resist mode. Like, and he probably was trying to touch her a certain way. And she and she ain't allow that and she ain't want that. You know what I'm saying? She probably was a funny type of girl, you know, bubbling and everything, do a bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Cause you heard the young lady say that she was like a mother figure, right? But to him, it wasn't no mother figure to him. You feel what I'm saying? It was about love. You feel what I'm saying? He wanted her, but he didn't know how to come come at her. So when he tried his best to uh to approach and throw himself on her, right? She like she probably, you know what I'm saying, resist that pushed him off. You feel what I'm saying? And that what and then he tried to probably, you know what I'm saying, take something. You feel what I'm saying? And that's when he probably got into that mode. You feel what I'm saying? And believe me, yeah, I believe it was a struggle. You feel what I'm saying? So by him couldn't handle her, you feel what I'm saying? He done something, he thought that, okay, let me do this to her. You feel what I'm saying? But at the same time, he had to come back and still make more noise by shooting her. You feel what I'm saying? So that will raise a lot of eyebrows. You feel what I'm saying? But she, 
I could tell she was the type of girl that, you know what I'm saying, willing to help you out. You know what I'm saying? No matter what. You know what I'm saying? Because they were trying to hug the friend that one was talking. They were trying to move to a big city. You feel what I'm saying? They were trying to move to a big city in uh, Texas so they can better their life. You know what I'm saying? Because she had dreams and her friend was talking. They had dreams together. You feel what I'm saying? They love the kiki and everything. You feel what I'm saying? Playing this half on. You feel what I'm saying? But this young dude, he, he only was 19 years old, right? You know what I'm saying? And he was big. So I wondered that to me, did he have a girlfriend or did he didn't? You feel what I'm saying? And he just throw that lie and cooked that lie up and told him that, right? And his girlfriend was really the one that, the one that who he really wanted, but she ain't want him. You feel what I'm saying? And that what I think probably pissed him off. You feel what I'm saying? That's what got him to a whole nother stage of, you know, of acting like a devil. You feel what I'm saying? Took this young girl life for nothing. And they was friends and she trusted this dude, man. But that tell y'all something. All this murder going around about people taking their friends on trips and coming back. You know what I'm saying? Like the girl Shanquella and the other girl got missing. And, uh, and, uh. On that boat cruise thing, they were having a part. I can't think of her name. You feel what I'm saying? She went out on the boat cruise with a friend. Guess what? Y'all know she missing. I mean, she got found now. But every time somebody do something and go out with their friends, their friends be the one taking their life. You feel what I'm saying? Because, like I tell y'all, right? And I try to, you know what I'm saying, get y'all some knowledge. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You can't never tell a person heart. You can't never tell what a person thinking about you. I don't care how how long you knew this person. Just like they know each other from, from you know what I'm saying, growing up in the neighborhood, going to school together. You feel what I'm saying? You can't never tell about a person, man. You feel what I'm saying? I always felt that way when I was a jit. You feel what I'm saying? Because I learned a long time ago, like, I just see my friends do other friends wrong. And that what made me start peeping game. You feel what I'm saying? So... Pay attention to all your friends. Pay attention to your, to your circle before they hurt you, man. Because I'm going to tell you something. The one you love the most, that would be the one be the one that gets you out of here. That would be the damnedest one that will get you out of here. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, my prayers, my Sedona go out to their family, their friends. You feel what I'm saying? Now it's time, I hope, for them to really pay attention to all their friends because... Friends ain't friends. A real friend will not hurt you. A real friend, they're going to show you love not by saying they love you. They're going to show you love by doing stuff for you. You know what I'm saying? Helping you to a certain minimal, to a certain level. Because you know, everybody got a life of their own, so they can't fully really help you. You feel what I'm saying to you? But if they can put slide in every now and then, you know what I'm saying, here and there, you dig what I'm saying? They going to do that as a friend because they got a life to live their own. They trying to get their career taken off. You feel what I'm saying? But a real friend going to bring you along and they ain't going to hurt you, man. You feel what I'm saying? Not standing on 10, no business about that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just pay attention to everybody. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? On this note, my good people, you know what I'm saying? Really, that's all I got for y'all. You know what I'm saying? If y'all down with me, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can show me love by smashing that like button. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can show me love by sharing. And y'all can show me love by smashing that doorbell for me, baby. You hear me? And keep God first, baby, over everything. You know what I'm saying? On that note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone.